Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve example 2.1 that is taken from chapter number 2, Strain. And the book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler, 9th edition. So, statement is the slender rod shown in figure 2.4 is subjected to increase of temperature along its axis, which creates a normal strain in the rod of epsilon z is 14 to 10 to power minus 3 z power 1 over 2 where z is measured in meter determine the displacement of and b of the rod due to temperature increase and the average normal stress in the rod so you can see this is rod a b which is subjected to increase in temperature and due to this increase in temperature the the strain in this rod is this one clear which i have written over here so you have to find the displacement of and b how much it displays downward and in part b the average normal strain in the rod so let's start with the solution so as you can see that z is measured along the z axis that this is your z axis clear so what we will do is that we will take a, a small portion this is the small portion which is taken as dz and it is located at a distance of z from this top a so if i draw this small portion of z over here let me draw it let this is the small portion this is small portion which is dz okay now you can see due to increase in temperature there will be a change in length of this small portion dz so let this total change will be equal to or this new length will be equal to dz dash and we know that strain is equal to change in length divided by original length original length so change in length will be equal to change in length will be equal to this strain times original length and original length is dz so this will be change in length this is the change in length okay now since the normal strain is reported at each point around uh, the rod a differential segment dz is located this is differential d segment dz which is located at a distance of d so what we will do is that we will find this total length a new length of this dz which is subjected to change in temperature so this dz i can write as dz dash will be equal to this dz plus this change in length change in length so what we can write it as dz and this change in length we found that this is epsilon time dz since it is acting along z direction so we can write is that this is epsilon z so this is we, this will be the new length of this small segment dz now what we will do is that since this uh, this is a rod and this is small differential area so if you want to find the total change in length so we will integrate it so integrate it in both side integrate it on both side to get the both side to get the total change in the uh, length of the rod so what we will do is that we will integrate dz dash and this will be integral of dz plus epsilon z into dz clear and that will be integration from 0 to 200 millimeter or you can see the total length is 200 millimeter so 200 millimeter will be equal to 0 0.2 meter because we have been given that z is measured in meter so i will write 0 to 0 0.2 meter here as well okay so when you integrate it again you will get here z dash and that will be from 0 to uh, 0 0.2 okay as we are going to find out the total uh, increase in the length so i will not integrate it to the left side only we will integrate to the right side okay so this will be integral of dz 
0 to 0 0.2 meter plus epsilon z times integral of 0 to 0 0.2 meter into d z okay now this will give us z and that will be equal to um, 0 to 0 0.2 since you can see epsilon z is also a function of z so i will also take it is uh, to take it to the inner uh, side of the integral that will be epsilon z into dz 0 to 0 0.2 so that will give you us this will give us 0 0.2 plus integral of epsilon z is 40 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 3 into z power 1 over 2 into dz and if you further simplify it it will be 0 0.2 plus 40 into 10 raised to power minus 3 integral of z power 1 over 2 into dz so z dash will be equal to 0 0.2 plus 40 into 10 s power minus 3 and integral of z power 1 over 2 will give us z 1 over 2 plus 1 divided by 1 over 2 plus 1 so that will give us 0 0.2 plus 40 into 10 s power minus 3 and that z power 3 over 2 divided by 3 over and if you further simplify it will be 0 0.2 plus 40 into 10 s power minus 3 multiplied by 2 over 3 into z power 3 over 2 and you have limit as well 0 to z is from 0 to 0 0.2 so i will put the limit over here 0 to 0 0.2 okay now if you further simplify it z dash will be equal to 0 0.2 plus 40 into 10 s power minus 3 multiply by 2 by 3 into z will be equal to uh, z power 2 over 3 so 0 0.2 power 3 over 2 minus 0 power 3 over 2 and when you sell, sim, uh, calculate it by using your calculator, you will find z dash will be equal to 0 0.20239 meter. So this will be the new length of this total rod when subjected to increase in temperature. As we are given, we have been asked to find the displacement of point D. So we will find this displacement which is equal to delta B will be equal to original length um, which is uh, 200 millimeter clear uh, uh, that is 200 millimeter or 0.2 millimeter. So change in length will be equal to final length. Final length is 0 0.20 239 minus original length which is 0 0.200 meter so you will see that you will get 0 0.00239 meter this is the displacement of point b and that in millimeter it will be 2.39 millimeter and it this displacement will be downward so this is the displacement of point b of the rod now in our next part we will solve for the normal strain in the rod so as we know that average normal strain in the rod is equal to change in length divided by the change in length divided by original length original length so put the value what was change in length so change in length was this one you can see delta b which is uh, 2.39 so 2.39 millimeter clear divide by original length is 200 millimeter so when you solve this you will get the average normal strain comes out to be 0 0.119 millimeter per millimeter r this strain is dimensionless quantity so this is the answer of our this question again if you see that 
from this equation which i will write it over here epsilon z is equal to 40 into 10 to the power minus 3 z power 1 over 2 and if you put the value of z in this equation so 40 into 10 to the power minus 3 z is in meter so 0 0.2 power 1 over 2 so that will give you strain in z direction of the rod that will be equal to 0 0.118 meter or millimeter per meter again so you can see both the values are very closer to each other so that was all about this problem example 2.1 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section although i am not feeling well you can see from my voice as well as from my handwriting but i have uh, solved it for one of my viewer or subscriber who requested to solve or explain this example 2.1 thank you